In today's video, I'm going to show you a different way so you can deliver results to your clients. It doesn't matter if you are a freelancer or an agency owner, but I'm here to showcase this example that I've done for a client where we are able to increase the number of leads and also appointments using Go High Level funnels, automations, and AI for the win. And if you like content like this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and editor, play the intro. Let's dive into this. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lucas Dentist here, and today I'm going to showcase this client where we're able to increase the number of leads and also appointments using automation and also artificial intelligence. And I'm already sharing my screen with you guys. This is a dashboard I have customized so you get the full picture. Here I have created this elements that show the number of leads from past month, number of appointments, confirmed appointments from last month, also number of leads, and also number of appointments of the current month. We are June 26, and so far, 34 leads were generated, and 15 appointments were confirmed. And I need to say that we are not using the same budget from the last month. We are uh, with a slighter, higher budget this month. But the most important thing here to showcase is that we were able to increase the number of appointments using automations and also artificial intelligence. And I'm going to show here how we have done that. The first thing we're going to take a look at it are the funnels. But first, let me put into context. This company does auto hail repair damage. So whenever there's a hailstorm somewhere, they will target that area with ads and they have very strong offer a very bold offer and depending on the area we have the exact same funnel but just a slight different offer so this is the page that we run on in austin texas so in this page we are offering a thousand dollar cash back if people get their car inspected and fixed by this company so whenever people see the ad on Google ads, they will fall, they will land on this page. So in this page is where we get people's information. They will land on a page just like this. They will click on the button, they'll leave their information, email, phone, if they're insured or not, their vehicle making model, and also if there's any additional comments or questions. After they fill out this form, they go to the booking page and here they can select the date and the time that this appointment will be scheduled for, the car inspection. And after that, they will see a thank you page as you are seeing here on this three-step funnel. We have slightly the same offer for Omaha. It's the exact same structure. So whenever people in Omaha make Google searches, they do the Google searches, they're likely to see the ad and then they follow out. They will land on this landing page, but for Omaha. And what we have done different is the automations and I'm going to show you right now. Now let's take a look at the automations because I love this part. And like I showed you, like we have different funnels for different locations. So we also have different folders for each location as well. So we're going to dive into this Austin, Texas one. And like I told you, this client, we run campaigns on Google ads and also on meta ads. On meta ads, we have the Facebook lead form. So when I click here, you see the trigger. So whenever someone fills out one of these forms, they get into this automation. What this automation does is first we send an internal notification with the lead information we wait five minutes and then we send the first the free inspection next steps for this contact and we also include the booking page so for Austin Texas we include the second step of that funnel to remind people that they need to book an appointment in order to get their car inspected. And uh, why do we do this? Because after people fill out the form, if they don't book an appointment, we need to remind them of that. And that's why we use two automations in this case. That's always two automations that you need in order to follow people around. So here what we do is, Whenever people book an appointment, see it, book an appointment, the car inspection in Austin, Texas, we remove them from all workflows. So if they are in that other workflow where they start getting reminders, they will be taken out of that workflow because there's no need for us to keep reminding. There's no need for them to keep receiving those messages because the goal has already been achieved, which is having them book an appointment. So that's what we're doing here. So whenever people fill out the form, they are sent to the next step of the fund. They're seeing the calendar right in front of them. All they can do is two things. Either they can book an appointment or not. So we are waiting for them 
So we are we have this wait. We're waiting five minutes. We're giving them five minutes so they can book an appointment. If they don't book an appointment, we send them an email telling them the next step is to book an appointment. Well, first we ask them when is a good time to get them scheduled. And we also send them the link saying, or you can book an appointment using this link. Then we wait and then we send, we wait one day, you see right here, we, we wait three minutes, we make sure that we also, we're always sending this during business hours, then we wait one day, and then we send them, don't forget to take the next step. And keep in mind that we're telling people, we're sending this email to people who have filled out the form and they haven't booked an appointment yet. From the moment that they booked an appointment, they are removed from that workflow and they will start getting appointment reminders. So whenever people book the appointment, they get our client gets an internal notification. We update the appointment status. We send the appointment confirmation with our location address and some information here and even a link so they can cancel or reschedule their appointment. So that's what basically we're doing. And let me show you now the AI that I've also built in order to be like the plan B in case the automation itself does not work. So before I show you the AI solution I have plugged into high level, let me show you the type of conversations that this tool is capable of handling. So like I told you, whenever people fill out the form, we send out the automated email telling them to book an appointment. In this case, we had a manual message being sent. You can see it right here. That was me. But then we have our bot sending the next messages. So this person saying, sorry, I was too busy for Father's Day. Yes, I'm in Omaha. And then no worries at all. I hope you have had a wonderful Father's Day. Since you're in Omaha, would you be able to drop off your truck at our shop on July 5th? We have openings from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and appointments start on half an hour. What times works best, best for you? So based on the information we have set on the calendar, the bot knows that each appointment lasts 30 minutes. And this is our range of availability and then the person answers and then do i need to come in or can you set an appointment for july 5th see i can definitely set that up for you for july 5th would you like to schedule your appointment and then we say it again so that's even an error but they say mornings and then how about 8 30 a.m does that work for you he said by 9 a.m and then all set and then just bring your truck to our shop we take care of the rest see you then and then the person replies, even better, thank you, see you there. So this is amazing what this tool is capable of doing. Let me show you another example. So this is another example that we have. So this guy wanted a mobile dent repair. So absolutely, we can do that. Can you please provide your address? So the person provides the address and then asks, when is the, the most convenient, the time that's most convenient? So they said, Wednesday morning. And then the bot asks them, how about Wednesday, June 26, 8.30 a.m.? So we need this week. Do you have any openings this week? So the bot's trying to reschedule for the next week and this person's saying that they need for that week. So the bot says, okay, I can arrange you for June 20th, my birthday, by the way. So would a morning slot at 8.30 a.m. work? And then it says, if you come anytime after 10, and then we ask, how about we set up your appointment for Thursday? So first it sends the wrong message, but then it sends the right one saying, how about we set up your appointment for Thursday, June 20th at 10.30 a.m.? 10.30 is perfect. And then the appointment is created and we have this person booked. So this is basically how this tool works. And like I said, we're not depending on this tool to work. We have automations. We have the AI as a plan B. And let me show you now what I'm using for this solution. Time to review the solution we're using with high level and the solution is Closebot. Closebot is a chatbot solution powered by OpenAI and also Anthropic that you are able to respond to all channels using artificial intelligence. Doesn't matter if it's Instagram, Facebook Messenger, SMS, WhatsApp, email, even Google business messages. Even though this feature is going to be turned off, you can still do it by the time they turn off. We are showing case this bot right here. For this client, we have two bots, one for each location. We have a bot for Omaha, one bot for Austin, Texas. Here, the stats that I'm showing you are the stats from the Austin, Texas bot. So within 23 people that this bot has responded to, six appointments have been booked. So we're talking about like an almost a 25% conversion rate. So I'm really happy with this result. I'm really happy with this result. And because we're not counting solely on the chat bot to book the appointments for us. We use automations via SMS, we use automations via 
email, and we also have the artificial intelligence. So all these things together are the responsible for getting the results we're getting. And now I'm gonna give you guys a bonus, which is show how I have built this setup with two bots. So if you are familiar with CloseBot, you know that you have the active bot as a way to determine which bot you want to use. In this case, we have a workflow using two tags. We have a tag that represents people who have filled out the form from the Omaha location, one from a tag that represents people that have filled out the Austin, Texas location. Then we have a condition right here that determines if the tr which trigger has been um, has enabled the workflow, which 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 one has triggered the workflow. So if it's the contact the the tag Omaha, it's going to one branch. If it's the contact from Austin, it's going to be a different branch. And all we're doing here is to update a custom field we have created called active bot and we add the number of the bot to this active bot and then on the process message this is the workflow that's responsible for making the bot sending the messages we on the close bot ai web hook we have the bot variable here and we always use the contact active bot from the custom fields we have built right here so i just use that information so now my bot knows that that contact came from Omaha. So the bot from Omaha, the Omaha bot is the one that's going to handle that conversation. So hope you guys like this and let's go back to the video. So now that you know the power of high level automations and artificial intelligence, you should use that for your business. Whenever you create a funnel, make sure that people are taking the next steps. And if they are not taking, make sure that they are reminded of that. Use our SMS automations, use WhatsApp automations, use social media automations doesn't matter what you use email artificial intelligence use a bot but make sure people are taking the next step that's going to increase your conversions and also in a way that it's automated it's not someone that will have to grab their phone and call them someone that's going to grab their phone and message them and email them everything is automated and you can use high level to have a calendar full of booked appointments I'm going to leave in the link of the description a coupon code so you can sign up for Closebot if you're interested and also a 30-day free trial for high level so you can start taking advantage of this tool. This is the main automation tool of the world as we speak. So let's start taking advantage of that and guys, see you on the next one.